either of the two right lanes, oh, no, then no. take the exit to I-71 North. Let me just try to get over real quick, man. Let me uh, try to get over real quick, man. I'm in traffic right now. Oh, man. This guy won't let me get over here. It's cool, though. I, in three I quarters of a mile, keep left to I-71 North. I get over. But anyway, uh, what's going on, y'all? This your boy, Javon. You see, got my lift. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. That's what I do. I don't do Uber. I ain't hate no Uber, but... uh. I'm a lift guy, I'm a lifter. I, I do a lot of heavy lifting, so that's what I do, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Got my little lift hat right here, too. <laughs> Boy, you know what I'm saying? That's what I do, you know what I'm saying? Got my little lift, you know? We can yes. either of the two left so, lanes. Let me turn this off, I know where I'm going, bro. It's my city. So, anyway, uh, I just want to go over a few rules, little tips or whatnot, you know what I mean? Uh, so when you're doing your uh, your heavy lifting out here, uh, grinding out here, getting this money, man, you know what I'm saying? There's a few things that you need to do. And a few things that you need to uh, follow. Um, I would say number one, when, when I was new and I was doing this thing, I used to throw my app on and just roll on the freeway, just, 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 uh, just take I-480 uh, all the way down. You know what I'm saying? Just had an app one, see what I can catch. Listen, never do that. That is stupid. Just simply look at your heat map and see where the heat is at. You know what I mean? Like what's going on in your city? You know what I mean? Just be aware of what's going on in your city. You may have a ball game, uh, a concert, or something like that. Those are things that you want to be at. You don't want to be picking up people in the suburbs or like that. It's, it's listen. You can you can get some good sweet licks like that. Don't get don't get me wrong, but I am not the kind of guy that want to pick up people from the suburb unless they want to come downtown. But see, that's the thing. You don't know where they want to go until you get to them. So I don't take I don't take no chances. I go straight downtown and I take them wherever they gotta go. The average person that get a ride downtown don't live downtown. You know, so so. You know, and I got these Bluetooth, Bluetooth glasses, so uh, I'm on Zello right now. And if you got Zello in your city, you need it. If you don't, if you don't have it, you need to have it. You need to get a group of people. You know what I'm saying? That can uh, that can teach you the game. That can help you. Uh, you know, with anything that you may have. Because I'm telling you, these people out here that that's been doing this for three, four years or whatever, they know the game and you know, you need to know this game, man. Real talk. You need to know it. So I would get like that going, you know what I'm saying? If you don't already have something like that going. Uh, uh, like I said, don't don't you know don't don't ride on the field with your with your, with your app on. That's stupid. Because somebody gonna pull you in the opposite direction, you're gonna be going west, you're going east, now they're gonna pull you west. You know what I'm saying? And then you know what? I didn't experience this. As soon as I get off the I get off the off ramp, they cancel. So now I'm going back west. I'm like, oh man, I don't even want to go that way. And now I'm back and now I'm turned all the way around. I'm done to the full circle for nothing. It's pointless. Get in position, get downtown to your city. If you live in a major city like, you know, like my city, Cleveland is my is a major city to me. But in my city, you know what I mean? You live in a major city, you know what I'm saying? You need to get downtown Cleveland, you know what I mean? Don't waste no time, you know, going to the suburbs over here and there. No, don't worry about that. Just get downtown. Airport runs with Lyft are, I'll be honest with you, Lyft is, uh, Lyft need to get better there. Because airport runs uh, with Lyft are, is based on your on your positioning. So whoever's the closest to the, uh, the plane, I mean, to the, uh, to the person that's requesting, that's who will get that. You don't get put in the queue like Uber. So uh, that's what I think Lyft needs to fix as far as that. Now in other cities, I'm pretty sure like Chicago or whatever, yeah, Lyft is just chilling out there in the airport next to Uber. But that's because it's 90,000 drivers combined out there. There's a lot of Lyft drivers and a lot of Uber drivers out there. It's not that many Uber, uh, Lyft drivers here in Cleveland. It's more Uber than, than anything for sure. So with that being said, we're outnumbered.
outnumbered and we uh, are not as popular here. So, the, so here in Cleveland, the airport is really not my favorite, but it is my second favorite place to, my, my, my second favorite destination to go to. And I'm gonna tell you why. I live in North Olmstead, Ohio. And if you know anything about North Olmstead, Ohio, you probably don't, but let's just be honest. Uh, you probably don't, but North Olmstead is right next to the airport. So I live like five minutes away from the airport, so it's hard for me to pass the airport up every single day to come all the way downtown Cleveland. It's just hard. So I, I find myself getting over there and trying to get what I can get and hopefully get something all the way downtown. That way, that way I can be where I wanted to be instead of deadheading all the way down there. But I find myself deadheading down like, damn, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going straight downtown, app off. Okay. Uh, another rule that I want to make known to uh, especially new drivers, don't, do not let do not let customers get in your car with alcohol. Number one rule is it's against the law in every single city, and they know that. That's why they want you to pick them up because they don't want to drive drunk. So you can't do that. And then number two is against Lyft's policy and Uber policy. You'll get deactivated for something like that. You know, don't risk getting deactivated and definitely don't risk you know, losing your license, losing your car, or something like that, or getting, you know, whatever it can be, don't, don't do it. It's not worth the, the fare. You feel me? It's not worth the tip. It's just not worth it. The biggest tip I ever got was a hundred dollars. I'm trying to think. That's a lot of money right there for a tip, but it's still not worth it. A hundred dollars is not worth your license. You know what I mean? Your livelihood. You know, whatever it is that that you that why you do this. And you know why you need your car. You know we obviously need our vehicle. That's why we have them. You know, so don't worth, don't don't risk anything like that. You know, and don't let customers smoke. You know marijuana either in your car. I don't care if they tip you. Think about it. Your car's gonna smell like mar marijuana for a while. One, two. You got to put more passengers in here at some point. You how you gonna do that? You know, and then they get in here and smell it and say, well, you was doing it probably. They call, you know, they can, you know, when they, when they rate you, they can say, you you know, they smell weed and you're deactivated. So just don't do that. I know people that, that, uh, that have got tipped like a hundred bucks to let them smoke in the car. And I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that. You know what I'm saying? You got to stick to your guns when it comes to this ride share business. You have to stick to your guns. You got to remember, this is your business. You were just under the lip umbrella, but this is your business. So if it's your business, but you allow somebody to down your business, to bring your business down, no, I'm probably, hopefully you wouldn't. If you were, if you were in business to stay in business, you wouldn't, okay? It's a beautiful day out here in Cleveland, Ohio. Home of the Cavs, Championship City, baby, you know? And uh, lately, it's been a lot of money down here I would say because you know it is a lot of stuff going on in the land. Uh, we have baseball going on right now as we speak. You know, not really, a, you know, really a big baseball fan myself, but uh, Cleveland Cavaliers are in a winning mood right now. I'll be honest, I'm not like hell bent or even thinking for a second if they got the pedigree to win, but uh, we'll see. Uh, but I am on my way downtown right now to get this paper. Um, let me think. You know, another thing I would like to say, you know, you know, when, when it comes to like having water and, you know, and food or whatever and all that stuff in the car, you know, I have a rule about that. I don't want anybody eating in my car. You feel me? I don't want you eating in my car. Because that, you know, I already clean my car once every week because people get in the car and they track stuff in here every single ride. Every single rider tracks something in here. I noticed that. Every single one. So if you have, if you don't, if you, if you only clean your car out once every week like I do, and you have, you know, let's say I do about three a day, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you got about, you know, ten riders in here, you know. A week at least, and that's just low ball. 
You got all this stuff collected in here until you decide to clean it out. Okay? You don't need for them to throw, you know, to have food in here too. That's, you know, you, didn't, you know, if they spill that, you got to clean right in there. This is a hassle. You don't have time. You know, time is money, so you don't have time to sit there and, um, you know, and clean out stuff that you don't want to do. Like, you just, you just don't, it's just a waste of time. So don't let them eat in your car. I know all these rules sound really stickler, uh, but, I mean, honestly, I think people understand these things. You know what I mean? Um, and another one I would like to say, you know, I don't know, like, in Cleveland, uh, the one thing about Cleveland, since it's not like a, uh, if it's not really big here, uh, you, you know, you get a lot of rides requests that will be like 30, 35 minutes away. And, and I, I know a lot of people that will complain, like, Lyft sucks because of that. Well, let me tell you something like this. You don't have to have a 100% accepting ratings in order to keep working for Lyft, basically. You just got to have like a 79 or 80. It's, that means that's okay. And that's what my accepting rating is every single week. At the end of the week. Right now, I'm at a 75%. So that means today, I'm, I pretty much I, I pretty much got to accept, accept everything. Because I'm so low, you know what I'm saying? I'm so low because I haven't been really. I've been I've been denying too many people. So it's okay to deny them, you know what I'm saying? But it's also a couple ways you can do it. You can also, you know, call them, accept the ride, call them, and let them know, hey, I'm not coming out there, bro. So cancel the ride. And they cancel, then that doesn't hurt your second grade. Yes, sir. So, you know, that's just a few tips, a few things that I know about the game. But you guys be cool, man. I'm about to set up shop here. Downtown Cleveland. Somebody took some of this money, man. So, you know. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to holler at y'all. Good luck.